And then the main event was Kenny Omega and John Moxley cage match. And uh, this was great. And they brawl outside first. Young Bucks come out to even the odds. They finally get in the cage. And then it's just puncture wound after puncture wound with a barbed wire chair. There's blood everywhere. There's broken glass. They're absolutely killing each other. And finally, Kenny goes for the V-trigger and breaks the entire side of the cage down. And, dude, I don't know. Like, you know how many surgeries this guy had over the last year? Yam bag. Ooh. And a lot of them were his uh, his groin. Remember? Yeah. Well, he happened to do a, a V-trigger, and the cage falls down, and he got stuck between the ring and the cage. And I thought it was going to be like Rumpelstiltskin, just straight up through the middle of the top of his head, torn in half. I don't know how he did not tear every muscle in his body, break his leg, whatever. But Moxley... Former goalie dexterity coming out. Throws him back into the ring and uh, and ends up with Omega going for the one-winged angel after almost killing himself. He hits it on the glass. No can escape. But that mm, horrible Don Callis hit the Perfidious ring. Perfidious bastard. Jabbed Kenny with the screwdriver. Turned on him. If you thought the pop on TV, the gasp, you should see the unedited footage from fan cams. They went nuts. Moxley covered and pinned him. Seditious and duplicitous Don Callis. Still. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Trying to remember if there's ever been a bigger shocked reaction that I've heard on an AEW show. Than, uh, than Callis turning on Kenny Omega. Because people were screaming. They were screaming when this happened. And there's a, you can see videos on Twitter of, uh, you know, fan cams. And the crowd is just, it's completely nuts. So he has turned on Kenny. And uh, we shall see where this goes with Takeshita. Because Takeshita is such a beloved character to this audience. And don't think like he's not going to be with Kenny Omega. So either either Kenny is going to be uh, clouding his judgment and he's still kind of like a babyface character. Or they're turning him heel, which will be, uh, it'll be interesting. The great take. Yeah, so uh, we shall oh see. Oh my God. Oh no. Don Callis is the worst of the worst, and he made one of the worst comparisons in the world when he compared himself and Kenny Omega to Bobby the Brain Heenan and the great Nick Bockwinkle. I can only imagine him fancying himself now as a Gary Hart, somebody devious like that, another bald-headed genius, although Don Callis is no bald-headed genius, Takeshita be wary of anything that man says. You saw what he did to Kenny. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh, no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.